You found the Steel National Championship Air Races presented by Reno Tahoe. Juan Brown is back. We're good to go on the race course and we have action. Stoll Drag Racing is back. The last couple of races we had were so close between five different cameras, we could not Good determine seat. the winner between these two competitors right now. Isn't that awesome how close they are? This is fantastic. Very mismatched vehicles. Uh, the Carbon Cup on the outside lane is so much lighter than the 182, but the 182 has the nose wheel and is really aggressive with Aaron Greer on the inside. Let's look at this turnaround and see who gets around first. They're turning around at just about the same time. We're trying to get through the quarterfinals to determine who's going to be the bottom of the bronze here, but these races are just too close to call. This Carbon Cub can out-accelerate the 182, but given a long enough distance, the 182 would always win, but we don't have the distance that the 182 needs to be able to get it slowed down, or I'm sorry, sped up as far as he can get it. Using those flaps, getting it slipped in there hard. He does come in way fast. Who's going to get stopped first? Tailwheel down. Very close. What a terrible way to do it. He scratched. Bruce Graham, oh, number two no. in the yellow carbon cup, scratched at the turnaround. Which lane do you want for both? Such uh, a great race having to do it twice. You get into that pressure and you push yourself to get as close to the line as you can. And those are the kind of mistakes that end up happening. Well, we heard on the radio in, uh, in preparation for this that five different cameras from five different locations could not determine that last race, who was the winner. That's why they had to do it again. Run him again. That's a close call. That is. That is fantastic. And next we have Bo Allison, lane two, taking the far lane in his custom Legend Cup. Now, as you look at this plane, you may think, that's kind of a weird plane. I can't really figure it out because the tail looks like an old classic straight tail Cessna. And it actually is. Uh, he uh, looked for somebody to build that plane for him that would allow him to have that uh, there and at the custom tail. He has a Cessna, if I'm not mistaken, that looks just like it. And when they're flying, you can barely tell them apart. Yep, the Cessna 180. So the things that guys can get disqualified for at the turnaround are landing short of the line or not coming to a complete stop okay. at the turnaround before turning around. Or, if I'm not mistaken, is that true if they're uh, off heading by more than yeah, 10 uh, degrees? That's correct. We're going to send uh, Hal out there up against Bo, run these two again. That'll be fantastic. For anybody out there that doesn't know, Hal Stockman Good turning there in lane boys. one in his Good white down. Rams S7 number three. Sure. He's the most famous man on the internet that's not on the internet. He doesn't have his own Facebook page. He doesn't have his own Instagram. He doesn't even know how to turn a computer on. So a couple of weeks ago, I was showing him that he has a, a Facebook page called the, the Hal Stockman Experience. He sat and looked at that for hours. It's been a year. He didn't even know it existed. And they're off. Hal Stockman in the Rams S7 in the number one lane. A much lighter aircraft weighing in at just 600 pounds. Bo Ellis in the number two lane in the Legend Cub. So the different techniques here is that Hal on the inside lane isn't using flaps and he isn't slipping. He's relying on prop braking because he does have a reversible prop. Oh, he got it stopped. Now, last year, Hal was able to put it on his nose last year trying to do that. Yeah, that was close. Go ahead and follow the condo. Looks like Bo got a good lead at the turnaround. Good turns. And you saw Hal carry the throttle much longer than Bo did.
Looks like Bo's going to have that one with ease. Bo with the win. Good job, Hal. Good job, guys. Bo Ellis takes the win in the Legend Cup. Remember when we come up, Eddie Sanchez in lane two in the, the Just Aircraft Highlanders. He's the black guys, aircraft. Going to lane two can go around you real easily. And Harry Beaupre in the yellow kit box. Rotax 912 powered both aircraft. We're going to the back of the line, Johnny. Spirit of Blue oh, the yellow kit box. Much. And the Devil Girl, come on Eddie up Sanchez up. in the black Highlander. I need a break, cool. I got a shot at him. He named like that way to fiance. And I think uh, that is the most it. perfect name because that we all hang out with there. And yeah, I would say that that's good after. We're clear to the east. Judges are ready. Harry, are you ready? That's Kevin Quinn, the chief instigator down there at the start-finish line launching everybody. And once again, the layout of the land is we have a 2,000-foot-long course in between the runway and the taxiway out there in the dirt. And the objective is to drag race as quick as you can from the start-finish line to the turnaround. Land on or beyond the line right there. I got a bad Come to a complete camera. stop yeah. with the tail down just like that, and then spin around and race as fast as you can back to the to start finish line, 2,000 feet down the road here. And the first aircraft that comes to a complete stop with the tailwheel down after landing on or beyond the line at the start finish line wins the drag race. Harry has had some really impressive runs all week, but he's going up now against the number two, I think, at one point qualifier. Good bounce by Eddie, but he got wet, stopped well ahead of Harry. Eddie got that one great job. Harry cleared a taxi. Eddie Paul Harry. So through a process of double eliminations, we're gonna determine the ultimate steel stole drag racer competing for a purse of $30,000. We got lots of time, do a slow taxi. We got a lot of time. Come on out, Bo, and whoever Bo's. Uh, so I heard Bo him. say, give me a few moments to cool my brakes. I think I can take him. Right. Let's see if he comes back number of sponsors to help make stole drag racing possible, including AOPA, the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. Cup Crafters, as we see several of those out here. Out of Yakima, Washington. Airframes Alaska, for all your bush plane accessories. Tempest Aero Group. Flight Outfitters, where we get these great flying jackets. Wayland Aerospace, with those bright lights they got out there. Clemens Insurance out of Kansas. See Jerry Clemens for all your insurance brokerage needs. McFarland, distributor of MT Props. Say hi to Brenda and get a new MT propeller. Sky Cowboys, all kinds of different accessories for backcountry and probably all of them. Including the helmets, the helmets with headsets that are required here at Stoll Drag Racing and desired out in the backcountry. And Behringer Wheels and Brakes. Outstanding brakes, but not only that, but probably one of the best looking ones out there. And we invite all of you co to come down to the Stoll Corral down on the far right side of the course, just past the jets, where we got the, all the aircraft and all the pilots accessible to the general public and all the swag, t-shirts, sweatshirts. Available for sale, see Jen down at this Stole Drag Corral. Oh, it's Steve Henry versus Bo. Our fastest aircraft by far. Steve Henry, arguably the winningest Stole pilot of all time. Running at 300 horsepower Yamaha Apex snowmobile engine and the Skytrax gearbox producing that screaming 10,000 RPM.
Now both Steve and Tim, our top qualifiers, were not really ready today to race. They didn't think they were going to be racing at last minute. They threw them in. These guys are going to be the top of the gold class. So Steve, as you can see, is running his big fat tires, which he likes a lot better as far as appearance-wise and the way that it feels when you land. It just doesn't help on the braking as much. And Tim also had to make some changes to his plane. He wasn't able to do it either. So both guys are just kind of getting in there. Now watch how quick he can get that thing stopped. Bam, he's done. And he has Behringer brakes on that aircraft. Double puck. Double puck, double piston. Double fun. <laughs> Great run, boys. That was a beautiful run. You guys have the best flip in the game. Clear to taxi, Steve. Both follow Steve. My copy, Tim. Come on out. Tim looks like he's getting ready to taxi onto the field here in just a moment in Psycho Billy number 73. Looks like he's going up against Eddie Sanchez and the Devil Girl. These are two of our top qualifiers, two of the top three qualifiers. This is going to be a race. I don't recall if these two have been lined up with each other. Do you? Yeah, this will be interesting. Devil Girl in the number two lane. The number two lane is that lane that is farthest away from us. Another interesting thing that Tim does when he does his turnaround, and we know we've talked about it being won or lost in the turnaround, is that Tim does a right turn. And I think he's the only pilot here today that does a right turn when he goes uh, at the midway point. Yeah, you'd normally go with the left just to go with the torque of the engine. No jump in the line. We don't have a dragster light pole down there. We just got Kevin and his big flappy arms right, and this call on the radio. Are you ready, Tim? Are you ready, Eddie? On the arm drop, boys. Three, two, one, heel. And they're off two of our top three qualifiers. This is going to be a great race. Tim Shellhorn getting the whole shot with that. He is definitely pulling Eddie. Eddie held in a little bit longer. With the EFI 0320. Both excellent pilots. Boom. Looks like Tim touched down first. Eddie's getting really hard on those brakes because he knows he has to. Tim with his right turn. Good turnaround. Let's see what the judges say. And it Tim looks like Tim's pulling even harder on the way back, doesn't it? Yeah. Throwing it into the full slip, sliding it into the start-finish line. See the flaps retract. Good turns, boys. Wow, Tim got on that braking really, really well, and it's paying off. Looks like he got him. Looks like Tim in number one lane. Tim, you got him by hair. Good job, boys. Clear to taxi. Eddie, follow Tim. That was a great race, boys. I don't know if that's Tim's Lord best run or not, but it sure looked fantastic. You guys have is awesome. Just beautiful flying. Eddie, follow Tim. Great race. Psycho Billy. So you can find more information all about this class of racing at the stoledrag.com, stoledrag.com website. We've got all the pilots, all the information, all the different events around the United States here. We put on several events, and in fact, we'll be doing the High Sierra Fly-In right here at Dead Cow Playa, not too many miles from here, next month in October. We'll have over a 1,000 aircraft show up for the fly-in and dozens of aircraft doing stall drag racing over two day period right in the middle of October. So is and Harry it, Dupree going to go up against who we got? Is this a Harry going to go up against uh, Bo Ellis again? Oh, Bo still in the running. And if you haven't seen the live feed from the air races here put on by Air Show 360, it's outstanding. If you can send that to your folks at home that can't get to the air races, that's a great looking live feed. And that link is available 
on the Steel Reno National Championship homepage. Now Bo's plane, from my angle, always looks like his left wing is sagging a little bit. Is that just me or my angle? I don't know. It could be that lane number two is getting a little droopy on the uh, left side there. as well. Harry Beaupre in the number one lane, Spirit of Lewis. The yellow Kit Fox. Harry now based right here in Fallon, Nevada. Harry, are you ready? Bo, of course, from Bo Dad, California. Bo's got some giant weights underneath the tail on that thing. It's impressive that he can lift that tail so aggressively on the start. Yeah, he really picks that tail up. Good acceleration. That is a slip there by Bo Ellis. He throws it in, but the plane can't quite hold it, so it kind of comes out of the slip a little bit. And Harry's a little lighter, trying to outbreak him. It's still close. Look at that. Looks like Bo's got a good lead as he comes by the steel home pylon. And Harry's carrying the power about another 50 yards. Good turns from the turnaround, judges. That was a great run by Bo, being able to slow that plane down like he did. Looks like. Bo still in the run in the number two lane. If you've got your steel national championship air race brochure or handbook here, we're on page 68 to see all the steel stall drag racers, aircraft and pilots. Eddie Sanchez is going to be taking line lane two in the Just Aircraft Highlander, followed by the Rans S7 of Hal Stockman. Okay, last stall drag race of the period. Good to see Hal Stockman back out and still running in lawnmower three, the white Rans S7 in the number one lane from Elko, Nevada. And this is double elimination. If that, Eddie doesn't win this, he'll be done. Be it. And I'm not sure what Hal is, what his record is here, if he's been uh, taken out yet. But these are both fairly evenly ma match planes. They're both very souped up Rotax engines, one by Edge Performance and one by Hal himself. Hal's a master mechanic on heavy equipment, just retired, so he can spend full time building uh, Rotax engines uh, for himself. They keep telling him, you can't do that with the engine. You, you're not, it's not designed for that. He just says, oh, really? We call those stockmanized hey boys, Rotax 912s. We're clear to the east. Judges are ready. Hal, are you ready? Eddie, are you ready? On the arm drop. Three, two, one, see ya. And they're off. One thing to watch is when they start their slipping. Now, Hal is not going to use flaps, and he's not going to slip versus Eddie, who's going to rely on the flaps and the slipping to reduce his speed. Whereas Hal is going to be using prop braking. Oh, he put in a little bit of slip, so he's really pushing it. He's using prop braking and reversible prop to try and slow him down. This is a going to be a tough race. Ooh, Good Eddie got bounce, bounce down Eddie. There. Now is Al able to get his prop into reverse? Wow. Well, Eddie stopped first, but Hal stopped shorter. Yeah. Let's see how this plays out. Hang on, Hal. Good race. Eddie's got a good turn and a good lead. Wow. That is fantastic. Eddie is really blowing him here. But it is not over yet. Hal's got a lot of work to do uh, with that reversible pitch prop. It takes a lot of muscle memory to deal with that prop. 
Now Eddie is borderline off 10 degrees. Did he not get her stopped straight? I it missed does that. not appear from my angle that he did. The crowd will know better than we will. If he does not stop within 10 degrees of, of north. Okay, so that's going to be inconclusive. We had the brake problem with Eddie. That makes sense why he turned the way he did. He had a brake failure. And Hal had a scratch. Oh! Well, this will be exciting to see them go again. You got to keep going. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have a left brake, it looks like. Stole drag racing is really hard on the brakes and tires. Okay, that's your stole drag racing for today. I don't think we have another stole drag race later on today, so we'll be seeing you tomorrow as we winnow down through the brackets to determine who is going to be the steel stole drag champion here at Reno 2022.